everybody and welcome back to the average um just ignore this backdrop we are in the process of moving so um yeah anyway arteza sent me this amazing box of art supplies so i'm gonna test them out uh full disclosure this video is sponsored by arteza so thanks again for arteza for sending me these items that i'm gonna check out kind of like a mystery box because i'm not really sure what they sent me so let's check them out oh. First up, we have these 36 gouache colors, which I'm super excited about. There's some really nice colors in here, it seems. So let's let's try them out. And also, Mochi, if you could just get out of my shot, because you're kind of ruining it. <laughs> She's like, this box is for me. Pasta de Rataka. So mean. Then they also sent me these triangular grip. Ooh, fancy. 48 colored pencils. Nice, I love pencils, I love gouache, so they're pretty on brand of what to send me. And then finally, they sent me this little bucket thing, which is looking super cute. And very handy when you're moving to have little containers, trust me. They have like different ones, that one actually looks really cool, um, if it focuses. I would, I would like that one too. They look really nice. Yeah, some cool stuff. Okay, so let's get into opening the pencils first. The triangular grip, I love that. If I can open them. Well, my nails are completely dead, so <laughs> I have no nails. Mmm, looking like some nice colors. Looking like some nice colors. Pretty cool. And uh, let's have a look at these triangular grip. I don't really get the point of triangular grip I guess it's more <laughs> dex you get more dexterity in your pencil I guess yeah these are looking nice I will test them out in a mo and then some gouache as you guys know if you follow my channel or not I don't know gouache is kind of the main paint that I like to use at the moment I also do like watercolor but I feel like you can use gouache in the same sort of manner so it's it's a win-win and I do like using pencils in my like comic work and stuff like that so for like texture and things so this is like really handy things to be sent actually I feel like the company did their research on what I like which is really cool to to see Ooh. okay these are looking really nice pearl sky so I think I don't know if I'm mistaken or if there are some metallic -y colors in here oh <laughs> I'm so stupid. They are all metallic. Oh, okay, cool. I don't I don't really have any uh, metallic -y gouache stuff. So this is going to be interesting to try and use them. Uh, let's see. Oh my gosh, how many colours are there? 36 colours. So there's quite a lot of colours in here. Nice. It will be really interesting to try and use metallics because I haven't really got like such a good um, background in metallic -y stuff. Like I do enjoy using it, but I don't know where to put this. <laughs> I want to try them out now. So here we go. We got. I really am attracted to this pearl bubblegum color. I don't know. That just sounds delicious to me. Pearl bubblegum. Yes, please. Okay. Um, let's test them out. Okie dokie. I'm just gonna test out some of the paints first on like this page possibly to just see and feel how they work a little bit just like not really swatching because you guys might know that I don't really like swatching so much but just to like get a handle on them and just push them around the page a little bit and you know I gotta try that bubblegum pink first because it is sounding delicious to me and I like this colour. Pearl emerald green. Are they all like similar? They're all called pearl. Okay. I think they're all metallic. Oops. Feel a bit too much there. Don't really mind though. Don't really care. Can it get a bit crazy up in here? Is this white? Yeah. And what's this one? This is pearl white. What's the difference? Pearl white and pearl white rose. Okay. I missed. I didn't read it properly. Maybe some like ochre they have. This is gold, I think. But let's use it as the ochre of our. This one's called Pearl Golden Hour, which sounds like a nice 
shade to be honest and i want some blues so let's try out pearl glacier blue i really like these names they just sound really fantastical and interesting to me um pearl lavender i want it i want it i want it i want it <laughs> i need it i want it they're all quite light colors so far but i think that's me choosing so let's get this i think this is probably the one of the darkest one is this midnight pearl midnight blue Ooh. okay okay arteza i'm seeing you and i also want my pencils here because i want to use the pencils over the top of the gouache or you know something i don't know well hi mochi have you come to be annoying okay this is so this is with water super pearlescent and then this is without water so you can see like it can be used quite opaquely which you know which i like i like it a lot boom 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 let's try this midnight blue okay this is looking nice i really usually i'm i kind of steer clear a little bit of metallics but i think these ones are a bit more subtle i don't know how to describe it they seem like you can use them kind of as if they were normal paints and then just there's just a hint of like a shininess to it rather than it's just a gimmick if that makes sense i feel like they're quite nice in that sense um let's go to painting can't be bothered to test anymore <laughs> that's me done with this yep they're good let's go <laughs> see how long they take to dry actually very quick um i mean they're a little bit still wet there but they're mostly dry from when I when you saw me just putting them down. So I really like that because I work I like to work quite quickly. Um, so I'm just gonna do some painting in my sketchbook, um, like I, I usually do with gouache. I really like the way this paper is quite thin, but it reacts quite nicely to paint because of just the <laughs> mochi. I don't know if you can hear Mochi growling, but she just, when she plays, she's a little tiny cat, but she plays and she gets really growling. Um, I really like the texture it gives me, which is probably something that people find a demon in my house. Uh, odd, but I do, I really like playing with texture, so I want to use this sketchbook for these gouache. Um, mochi! Mochi's going berserker. What? Mochi's going full berserker mode. Thank you, Doshi. For the bag. Of course. Is Imagine your delivery boy comes and eats the burgers. Yeah, we got painted for the movie, so that's my favourite. It's time to get into the painting. I went to blow dry it because it's got some lumps and stuff on it but I really like the way that it turned out because it looks like the metallics kind of give it a bit of a warmth and that feeling of just the heat in the desert I want to go in now with some pencils and just add some details and stuff to this yeah I'm, so, I'm actually more than impressed with these because I think they layer really nicely and they have just a glow to them the metallics I've used in the past have just been totally overpowering, but as you can see, these ones are just kind of a subtle, I don't know, just a subtle shine, which I'm really enjoying. So I'm going to just go in with some pencils now and do some detail work and just have fun with it and let loose and be kind of expressionate and impressionistic like I'm trying to be here. I'm trying to be more loose with my paintings and I feel like when I've done that in the past, it's really worked out. For instance, early on in this sketchbook, 
like when I'm just a bit more loose I really like the way that it looks um, where's one that I did oh, maybe it wasn't in this sketchbook oh yeah here it is like I really really like this one um, there's probably more definition here than there is to this painting but there's sort of a similar vibe there of just like blocking out different shapes and things and I, I do enjoy it so I'm gonna see oops didn't realize I was still wet I'm gonna see how it turns out with the pencils now and just uh, yeah try to add a little bit of definition just to sort of um, show what we are looking at here a bit better because if you couldn't tell it is kind of like a desert scene with cactus and the sun setting behind the mountains and stuff but let's try some pencils I'm really liking the feel of these they layering on this gosh I'm just gonna zoom in so you guys can see at a certain point they're layering down really nice like over the gouache like just very smooth pencil which is really nice to work with I really like that yeah I think that's looking kind of cool actually with the definition a bit more helping definitely so all I've done is roughed out the shapes with the gouache paint and now I'm going in just trying to define roughly sort of these areas and maybe some more like twigs and shapes like that and just having fun with it making marks um trying to give the impression of what you're looking at here and uh, that's something i'm really enjoying doing and i think it has a very like dramatic effect and it's also something that i don't know i just find satisfying to create so that's kind of why i'm doing it like my catchphrase is follow the enjoyment of what you're doing and because I enjoy this mark making process that's kind of where I'm at for my creative style so at the moment I'm still in that place where I'm just like do I have a style I don't really think so so I'm just exploring everything um, just following what I find nice and what I think looks good as I go and yeah I'm just enjoying it I really like these paints actually and I really like these pencils so I'm really pleased that they arrived because I kind of packed up all my other art supplies and gave a lot of art, old art supplies away to my nieces and so these are really nice for the interim as well to have something to use whilst before I go to our new place and pick up our boxes full of stuff so super nice thing to do to be able to do and if you see if I'm like I'm just trying to like bring out texture as well in some areas because I made the gouache lumpier <laughs> if that's the saying you should use in some areas like here I've just lumped uh, on some some gouache and I think that it's really created something quite interesting so I want to just like work with that and still it's still a bit wet so maybe I can push that around with my my pencil really get in there, make some different textures, some different energy in the painting. And I think this is just adding to the energy and the feeling and the emotion of the painting. And it's just, it's just fun, <laughs> you know? It's just something I enjoy doing. So this is where I'm at right now. And I hope that you guys are enjoying what you're doing with your artwork as well. And I hope that you can enjoy what you're creating I know it can be super tough and sometimes there's that pressure on us and all we can think about is the pressure so you have to make something and you know you want to make good because you're gonna post it somewhere or somebody's gonna look at it or somebody's gonna read it or somebody's gonna consume whatever you've created and it's hard to block those thoughts out of that final thing that final moment where you've just pinpointed what everything accumulated has become but you forget the process and you forget the joy of what you're doing if that's all you can see and that's all you can think about so maybe this when I'm finished with it whoops will be absolute garbage and I'll be afraid to show you so that could always happen so we've got to let go of that fear and just enjoy what we're doing and block out those thoughts and maybe listen to an audiobook maybe listen to some music just to stop thinking 
and meditate a bit more because in the way creative process is meditation right it's not all just a means to an end it's about the doing of the thing that's uh, my ted talk for today <laughs> so it's just nice to have a moment sit down with a coffee chat with you guys and get on with it oh i made a mess of this pencil oopsie oh dear so how is everybody doing because i know it's been a while since we spoke and it'll probably be a while since the next video after this one comes out so just let me know down in the comments how you're doing and what's happening with you guys because i miss you guys and i feel like we haven't spoken in a while this is kind of a nice way for me to chill out and relax what do you guys think i think this is actually turning out to be a really nice piece <laughs> so yeah i think that's it i think i'm just gonna say that's the final piece and um thank you to Arteza basically for sending me this stuff and also shout out to my friend Tom who was the interim sender of all this stuff because um they couldn't send it to my country at the time so thanks Tom for helping me get this video done and thank you guys for watching let me know what you think thanks to my patrons as well ever ever faithful patrons and really kind of you to look after me <laughs> I think this will probably be the patron print because I really like the way that it turned out. So this might be the patron print this month. If you guys want to sign up, then check it out in the link down below. If you guys want to get any of these Arteza paint supplies and stuff, there is a discount link down in my description. So go check that out. I think you get 10% off and the code is also there. So thank you guys so much. Thank you, Arteza. And uh, hopefully see you guys soon in the future, whenever I can film again. But thank you for watching this and uh, bye. Have a good good old day, I guess. Yep. Bye.